Hello beautiful souls, it's Mary Rose from Mary Rose Intuitive. This is a three card oracle reading for what we need to know right here and now and I'm just smudging my space because this is what I do before every reading. I like to do a smudge and I forgot to do it before. I just have to fix my camera. Um, before, whoops, before I started the reading and I um, started this video I should say. And when I before I do my readings I always smudge and I forgot anyways I'm doing it now okay no editing I'm just gonna say it the way it is just put it out there because I like to be in the raw <laughs> okay so I was called to do th to work with three oracle decks today sacred creators oracle by Chris Ann Donnelly wisdom of the hidden realms spell casting um, by Flavia Kate Peterson Peters Barbara Mickle and John Free. Sorry, there's a lot. Of, these are the cards that I'm working with. Just so you know, I will uh, list them below. And because I love, love, love them, I just recently got them. I recently got Sacred Creators and Spellcasting, and I just love that these decks. And Wisdom of the Realm is my all-time favorite classic um, that I work with. Okay, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go with the reading because I've already put the cards out, as you can see, and I have shuffled and everything. So here we go. The first card is Cut the Cords of Doubt. This makes so much sense. Okay, this represents, Tess tells you, tells us that we have been carrying on something of a story of doubt. We are, like sometimes this is, happens to all of us, okay? Um, we, we tell ourselves, I can't do this, I can't do that. Or, you know, we just tend to put things on that are negative and that we don't even look at what is the possibility. Possibilities are endless, okay? So remember, what you put out there is what you attract. So if you're going in a dark place, you're gonna attract, um, well, you're not gonna vibrate high and you're not going to attract a, a certain type of energy that you want into your life. You want, what is it? What is it you want in your life? You want freedom, you want happiness, you want peace, contentment, love, money, whatever that may be. You need to raise your frequency, raise your vibration. And that calls for doing what you love to do. Now, when I say that, what I mean by that is finding a place of gratitude. I know if you're feeling a lot of stress and a lot of worries, you know, you gotta work on that. You gotta, there's some things that you can do. I love aromatherapy. I love my crystals. I love shuffling cards. I love burning candles and I love burning sage, as you see, as I just did. Smudging, cleansing the energy space because it makes me feel more whole and more at peace. And I love just tapping into that, right? I love t petting my kitty cats and spending time with Dave. Like those are the things I love to do. You find what you love to do, especially now, lockdown time i say this because COVID times we are the world is just changing let's just say that and we all need to tap into our own power like our love within ourselves we need to change it all around by looking for little places of gratitude that we have into our lives okay whatever that may be and i know Sometimes it's a hard place. I'm, I'm sensing energies. I'm very empathic and I'm sensing energies over you. You're watching, whoever's watching, I would say, no, Mary, what about me? I'm feeling pain, I'm feeling pain. And you're blaming someone from your past. You're blaming this person. This person made me feel this way. It was this person, it was that person, it was that, you know, like, yeah. You know, and hey, I've been there. But you know, I have to tell you something. By holding on to that story, you're actually creating more um, of a spiral downward. Okay, and that is what that's not cool. That's not good. Okay. The second card is the Metal King. I love this card. Oh, I love this card. Um, a few years ago, Colette Baron Reed, um, the, the creator of this deck, she had a, a spirit jam where she was in the audience. Like you, like she talks to people in the audience and picks and starts reading. She's amazing. I love her. And we all, like, before we walked in, um, we all had to pick a, a card from one of the decks. Like, all like all our decks are in a little pouch. And this is the card I got, okay? Now, when I got this card, I was like, oh, okay. So, she, I, did, I wasn't picked, but that's okay. Because I, a couple years later from there, I went to the I Can Do It. I've met her a few times, okay? And I brought the card there. She autographed it. It's not this card directly. It's because this is from the deck that I have, but I have it. And she I, I said can you read this for me and so she did it she read me she said oh you need to put a boundary this is a boundary and that's exactly what it says disciplined armor and boundaries and she said to me and she gave me a, a really great reading of what's going on and i have to tell you right now i got this card today and i said you need to put a boundary you need to state your boundary and boundaries 
and being assertive is a nice thing. I know we might think saying no and, you know, saying, saying our street, speaking our peace and our truth to someone is mean. And we might think that that's hateful and we should always say yes and have a smile on our face and be easygoing. And yeah, I'm guilty as charged because I do that too. But you know what? By doing that, you're only, um, you're, you're dimming your light. Okay. And that's karma. It's bad karma for yourself. It's bad karma because you're not honoring yourself. You need to, my, my goal, my message here, not my goal, but my message to you is to honor yourself, honor, really honor yourself. You know, something's happening in your life, reevaluate it. Like look at what's happening to you in your life. What is going on? Is somebody draining you? Is there um, something negative that's, that's doesn't feel right. Are you feeling something here? Because this is how, this is my inner pendulum. I feel it here. Yeah. I, I always feel that, you know, sometimes I feel that about people. I feel that, you know, and sometimes we just feel that. So you just put your hands on your solar plexus. That's your rib cage. And you just, you just give yourself some light because our hands have energy. Remember, we're all healers, we're all readers, we all have that ability, we all have that gift, but living in the 3D world and getting educated and everything makes us forget about that because we are spirit, we carry all these, yeah, we are powerful, you are powerful, you need to tell yourself, I am powerful, I am beautiful and powerful and I can do everything and it's not to be, you're not being narcissistic, no, and somebody might be narcissistic to you. You might be feeling that. You might be feeling drained. And, and you ever notice when you're talking to somebody and you just feel like, oh, I just feel like you just feel so drained after talking to that person and nervous and you, you got the sweats and everything. Well, that is, well, you could be nervous, okay? Some people are just nervous to begin with. But remember something, maybe you're feeling you're getting drained. That person's feeding onto your energy and hits home with me because I've gotten a lot of that in my past. And you know, I'm dealing, I'm dealing with lots of that stuff all the time. You know, we all are like with, especially what's happening right now. We have to, you have to put up these barriers. Okay. And, um, yes, I get clients that are like that too sometimes. And you know, I love everybody. I love people. And I have to say, I, I just, you know what, you just have to speak your truth. That's my advice to you. And I've had relationships. I had, I've talked about this before. This came out before about energy vampires. And I've, I all post the video all about it. Okay. Cause, and there's a really good book that you can read too. It's called, um, energy vampires by Christian Northrop. I really love that book. It hit home and it helped me and you know, I, it'll help you too. Okay. I'm not affiliate for that book. I'm just here to give you some advice. Okay. So you need to look at what's happening in your life. I'm not saying to go to your boss and just tell them what you feel and <laughs> not like that. But when the chance and the opportunity does arise, you need to stand your ground and you need to honor yourself and you need to stand in your own power. Okay. Surround yourself with the people that bring you light, that make you feel good, that power that make, gives you power. For me, I just, I, I keep my circle very small. <laughs> it's just my immediate family. And I have to say the two people that I love dearly is my mom, Dave, and um, my sister, Anne, you know, Anne, a soul connections. Yes. So like when I talk to, when I talk to her, I just feel like she's my twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when I talk to her it's like you know because we were born together and we grew up together and we're just we feel each other's energies and it's just you know when I when like when I hang out with her I just feel like this this amazing energy I'm always with I'm with Dave day and night he's my twin soul and it's my mom you know my mom always makes me feel supported so I have to say you got to surround yourself with the people that give you light now there's friends out there there's people reach out to a person that you need to if you're feeling something get help you know if you need to because it's not easy when you're dealing with these types of relationships because it really puts a drain on you so but you know what you can you can resolve this but all by just telling yourself right now I'm beautiful and I'm powerful Okay. And doing the things like meditation is really, really helpful. I have a coloring book that I created, you know, I'm an artist. Okay. And I created an affirmation, um, coloring book. It's called love and abundance coloring book. Okay. And it's just about maybe 13, 12 or 13 pages that I created. I'm, I'm working on more. Okay. I'm, I'm adding more. If you're interested in it, please send me an email. Don't comment here. Send me an email at 
Psychic Soulmate Reading. No, actually, Psychic Mary Rose 8 at gmail.com. That's I'll I'll post it here. Psychic Mary Rose 8 at gmail gmail.com. Okay, and then just ask me for it and I'll send it to you. Okay, the third card is protection. Okay, so I'm going to cap this off and say we are protected. I love this card. I really do. I really do. This energy of light is coming to you. Okay. And this energy is coming to all of us. We are coming into a new world. As you can see, she's mother earth and she's holding onto the earth. She is supporting and she is protecting you. She's got flowers. Okay. Now I'm filming this on May 1st, Beltane. Okay. So that's, um, that's a that's the, a new beginning. I just remembered that, and that's Mother Earth. That's telling us that this card is telling us that we are guided and protected, and we are safe. You are safe. You are safe. You know what? Pamper yourself. Love yourself. It's all about self love. Do what you love to do. Pamper yourself. Really, really pamper yourself. Soak your feet. Give yourself a pedicure. I just say that. I don't know. That's my thing. I just self love, self care. You probably can find some other things that can really make you feel good. You know, whatever that may be. You know what that will be. And um, yeah, just find some things. Just give yourself a hug and just know that I love you. Just know that I am sending you guys light all the time. When I'm doing these videos, I'm sending you light because I I don't get paid to do this. I just do it because out of the goodness of my heart because I love to do it and I was called to do this I'm a very shy person and as I have said this before um, I was called to do this a few years ago and I have to say I've been loving every time I do it I love it and it's just a lot of fun it's just and you know especially now because everything is closed where I am and uh, it gives me a chance to get dressed up <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a chance to put some makeup and I'm going out and you know it feels like oh I'm getting together with you guys I'm looking at a camera but I'm looking at you guys and I know you guys are watching and you guys tell me that all the time that you get my uh, I get your DMs and I get your and I'm sorry I don't get back to I can't get back to everybody it's just so hard for me but I do read your your comments eventually I get to them and I just it just warms my heart and it fires me and I'm just giving you some advice right now fire yourself up and just pamper yourself just love yourself okay and I hope that that was helpful for you and if you're interested in getting a longer reading visit my new website it's maryroseintuitive.com it's easier to remember maryroseintuitive.com and you can book your reading right there on the spot okay until the next video I wish you all peace blessings love and light till the next video till I see you again Bye for now.